welcome to our continuing series of top five tier six awesome medium tanks yes and this what is this it's a vk 30.1 d and that is very important the d because i've been told to say it tell us why can i say five well i'll, I'll <laughs> mention history at tanks straight away because that'll give us a little indication of why it is a d in 1941, the winter of 1941-42, the mm. Germans had took part in the Operation Barbarossa and they come across some pesky Trump little part. tank. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they were there. <laughs> <laughs> and they come across this pesky little tank called T-34. Yeah. It's very nicely frontly sloped armour and they Slope. couldn't do a lot to it. It were a beast or a tank that they didn't know even existed, let alone were producing so many numbers. Okay. So they need something to counteract it. And they sent out the kind of the development contract to two companies. The Man, M-A-N company, yeah. was one, and the Daimler Benz was another. They needed a 30 ton tank to counteract the T-34. Okay. Both submitted kind of like blueprints of a prototype that they were going to build. Okay. This is the Daimler Benz version, hence the D. The M-A-N, Man yeah. version, is the VK 30.01M, which okay. is also on the tech tree and also very similar tanks. Basically, they were designed yeah. to do the same job, so they're not going to be far apart. They've got exactly the same gun, gun characteristics and everything, but this is the Daimler Benz version. Okay. There is a P as well, but that's not related at all to these at tier six medium. But we're kind of covering the M and the D in this video because they're very similar. There's only slight are we, are we differences. Are we saying this? Talk to them about them in video. Is this like a lead up to the real Panther? This isn't the Panther. This isn't the Panther. The M was the Panther. The uh, DK 30.01M is more of a Panther than the Panther is in the game. It's more closely and historically accurate to a uh, Panther okay. than okay. the actual Panther at tier seven. It was basically <laughs> did become the yeah. Panther. No, I, I get it. I get it. I'm just thinking, why did they make so Panther? So technically, that's not a this tank, the D, yeah. was a version of the Panther that the Daimler Benz forward okay. was not put to the Man Company's version. Oh, okay. it, they didn't build any models. No, just. An idea. Everybody knows more about the okay. tank and I could cross oh, okay. reference it's it. Okay, so yeah. It's kind of. Have we said this is this five. is number four? This yeah. Is, this is number four, people. I think I forgot to mention it. Number four. So we're going to get cracking straight in. Shall we do some game gameplay? Game we've got is gameplay then. Straight this into is, Ghost Town. This is Ghost Town in your. Oh, I like your camo. Yeah, Very nice, nice. camera. You can see it. It's nice and manoeuvrable. Yeah, it's not bad. It's swinging about all over the place. And I'm going to mention straight away the gun. First thing I can talk about is exactly the same gun as you get on the M. No different. They were designed to have the same gun, so they've got the same gun. It's the L slash 70, 75 millimeter. So who built the turret? They'd have different turrets designed. Uh, I'm going to say the turret armor is different on each tank. This is a little bit faster than the M, got it. but has less turret armor and less all armor as well. Okay. As you can see that gun is pretty good, but you haven't got much armor and your fire rate's not great either. So kind of try to hide this yeah, tank best you can. Work, we'll talk more about play styles later on. More about this gun. 150 yeah. pen with a standard shell. That's pretty good. Pretty handy. Mm. 194 pen with your APCR. That's good. That's really good. Considering on the C tier 8. Yeah, that's pretty good. And you see it. Fire rates okay. 4.2 second reload pre consumables and uh, any kind okay, of equipment yeah. or vents and stuff you might be running. Yeah. Which gives you a DPM 1929 standard. Which is not bad. It's not. Oh. It's not one of the highest out of the tier six mediums. But as you can see here, it's nice at peaky booming. You are actually laying down some nice pressure yeah, fire. Yeah, two point three fair. second aim time, standard medium okay. time aim time. So Ooh, nice tracking shot. Nice. on that easy too. And uh, shooting back because I don't want to risk that. You can see already we're, we're bouncing some shots off that front sloped arm. Mm. Not yeah. brilliantly armoured. Sixty mil for the on the whole front, oh, okay, which right. is not, using not great, but it is angled nicely. Yeah. The turret armour only 80 mil thick on the front. The I'm not going to mention the sides because they're kind of in or they're Police up and down, in and out. You're going to pen them either way. Okay. So the M, the other version of this tank, has got a little bit more. The M, oh, the M okay. is sported 100 mil a turret front armour. So it's got an extra 20 mil of front armour. We don't want to really mess it with that bolt. No. And it's got an extra 25 on its whole front, so it's up to 85. So you can uh, tell that okay. the M yeah. is more armoured. Yeah. But what it gains in armour, what do you gain with armour? Weight. Weight, so it's not as quick. Not as quick. This is a top speed of 60 kilometres an hour, the M only 55. So, what, which one's better? Because we're making I a video of the D. I prefer the little bit extra mobility that allows you to do flanking manoeuvres and allows you to dip in and out and get shots. It's not, get me wrong, it's only five kilometres, but it's there. 
Is it way, is it way better than the No, the no, M they're very cause... similar. They're designed to do the same job. So as you can say, they're designed in exactly the same way. Obviously, the Panther is just that little bit better. <laughs> They've yeah. got the same gun, so there's no, you're yeah. getting no firepower Ooh, nice. superiority from one tank to the other. You're not yeah. gaining anything like that. It's just base, literally, the base of that gun. And Ooh. technically, the M on paper is better. Okay. More armour, only slightly less manoeuvrability. Was this player dependent? Yeah, well, I mean, we just there's loads of videos out there on the end because it's known as being the better tank. So I thought, well, let's throw a D video out there. D, why not? So because not many people are doing them, let's see what that's like. See how you play it with a little bit less armor. You've got to be a little more more cautious. You've got to pick your targets. You go after more carefully. Yeah. So you play less like a light tank because you've got less armor. You can and you can't. You, he's got a very good view range, and it's not got a bad camo rating either. 370 meter view range. That's good. I mean, you say that. The M's got exactly the same, oh. so is the P. So you're not gaining anything again. I, I yeah, said they're very similar tanks. It's literally just armour and manoeuvrability that's different. Mm. There's not a lot else. And obviously they're on different lines and unlock different tanks. Yeah. But this thing, you can see, it's not slow. It gets about, <laughs> it gets I do about like it. Yeah, you want manoeuvrability. Its acceleration is not brilliant, but it's not bad. It's nice rocking tank. I like a nice tank that rocks. Mm, that's that and you can see here which target do we go for? I'm not fancying a full L343. No. <laughs> we'll pick out a nice Swedish tier 4 tank through, but since you know where he's going. <laughs> I think he's and we're finishing oh, that. You can mean. see the fire rate there, the 4.2 second reload is not great when compared to other mediums at this tier. Yeah. You don't want to be going toe to toe with Cromwell. No. Or, or, a, or an easy eight, they're all going to mince through you shot for shot. Oh, so I you see. haven't got the armour to back that up either, so it's not like you can put yourself in a position where they can't pen you they're always going to be able to pen you so shot for shot you're not going to beat them dpm wise okay. so you kind of got to use this tank you can use it as a scout which is another advantage of it yeah in like a tier eight match yeah that's what i'm thinking you can work a ridge line in it eight degrees of gun depression it's not bad prone to artillery shots then how do we know this <laughs> <Find out anyway>. <laughs> <laughs> 710 meter signal range as well proves that you can snipe with the gun's accurate as well yeah to oh, snipe yeah, it's with not bad the not damage bad. is even here or there, 135 damage from the okay, shell. Okay, that's the same as Cromwell. Yeah. I wouldn't advise to use the HE. I don't think I ever use HE in this video or ever have. I mean, you only get 38 mm penetration and only 175 yeah. part of damage. Oh, okay. So it's not really worth that extra 40 damage while you're losing vast amounts. So asking the question, why did you go around this corner knowing the artillery was probably around there after you just I killed think his you'd mate? Be able to Pick that shot out. I mean, I'm, look, you can see where I'm there. I'm nearly up in him. <laughs> and he's still I was, just, I was just asking. Thanks, the, viewer, the viewer might be thinking that, but <laughs> I just wanted to clarify why you did it. But it's anyway. Not a bad game. So it's you not can a bad see there, game, range, Picked out four yeah. targets we spotted. Yeah. I we even cool. managed to rack up well over 2,000 damage. Well, two and, half. two and a half. 20 penetration shots, 632 assisted. So you've got a combined like over 3,000 damage. You've got a strike on this already. Yeah, it's a long time since I kept this tank. I enjoyed it. That's kind of why I used to do this video, really, because I okay, kept it. Because it did cost you. <laughs> <laughs> it cost me anything to buy back. I'll have to buy it. <laughs> I'm not made of silver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you can see the 1,700 base XP, pretty much done a lot of damage uh, compared to the rest of the team. You quite a carry. You carried that game. That huh? tank is its not bad. It's at number four for a reason. Yeah, you carried it. And we're going to see that armour, that armour comes in more and more as we're going to look through these videos and you're going to see more and more why is it t number four then because you would carried that it's, game the tank is a jack of all trades master of none exactly oh dear so in that regards it's <laughs> you can say it's player friendly yeah it can also say it's more a skill player can get more out of it oh okay but you can say that about any tank really can't you but what yeah. i'm saying, saying is it kind of can do every job you can flank mm. you can circle something yeah you can spot yeah it kind of does everything but not brilliantly very good but just not brilliant you said that about a tank before it does it but not good <laughs> cheers <laughs> can't remember what it was so it's mm. just it's pretty good so that's okay. what I'm, I'm trying to say is it'll suit everyone's play style because mm. it kind of can do any kind of role somebody wants you're not pigeonholed with this tank yeah yeah it's yeah. not oh, you've got to sit back at snipe because uh, it's not very fast oh it's got a load of armor oh, i've got to push up to the front or it's extremely fast. I've got to go racing around and flanking. Yeah. You can kind of do a little bit of everything. What do you call it? A medium? Yeah, it's just what it's <laughs> yeah, pretty much. In between yeah. everything. Yeah. It just doesn't do everything exceptional. There's tanks that do yeah. everything this tank does better, but yeah. them tanks can't do everything this tank can do. 
It's oh, a very I, versatile tank. I understand what you mean. Thousands of them. <laughs> <laughs> they understand what you mean. So you're basically saying any player can pick this up, use it to their strengths, and they'll get some out yeah, of it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So it's user friendly, but to yeah. get the absolute utmost out of it, yeah. uh, and map knowledge is key, I think, to know yeah, where and what you can poke and get back out and yeah. portion what you can see. The more you play it, the more you'll get used to it, the more you'll get out of it. I know you could say that about most tanks, but predominantly this one. You yeah. learn it as you go along, what you can and can't do. Yeah. And you can see, this is what I'm talking about, where you don't really want to go toe to toe with somebody. That's only a tier five medium, but we, don't, we, we can't trade shots with him. These rings in you, man. Friends. Yeah. This is all kind of... He's side yeah. onto him. Why are you side onto him? I've got a nice bank here. That, what? Yeah. So we bounce one shot there, okay. I know he's only a tier five, but you know, that bloody bank. And slid one down that side. I thought we killed him there again and we still don't finish him off. Finally get him. I've made a really hard work of that simple kill. And now we're gonna try and push tier around and well. check out the Okay, what's around here? Death toaster. Death toaster. Cool. Um, and oh, tradition. You're joking. <laughs> as soon as you make that move to flank round, somebody kills him. Uh I think the viewer will notice a trend in these videos that even though you're killing stuff and this and racking up damage, you do a lot of driving about. Yeah, and that's predominantly the fact that I'm scared to death in it. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's the strangest thing you've got to hear. The fact that it's its armor's not its strong point. This is. Yeah. And you're constantly trying to put it in a position where you yeah. can get shots in and then get the hell out yeah, of it. Yeah, that's what I mean. So you're constantly looking for that loophole. Yeah, you're constantly you looking for that. Yeah, you're constantly looking for that little chink in armour where you can push through. Yeah. As you should in the medium. You've got this, especially a fast one. I've yeah. noticed there. We've pushed around. We know we're all teamers. We can see where predominantly are. We know artillery is going to be down here. Let's take advantage of it. We've got yeah, the speed. We've got maneuverability. Your team's losing. And a little bit of a donkey. I mean, we found them all here. Whoa. Oh, you <laughs> Met with a hail of fire and tarmac flying out. <laughs> <laughs> They'll learn their lesson. I mean, I should really have got rid of the uh, tank destroyer the first time <laughs> on the artillery. But well, to be fair, if you watch a tank destroyer, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I would dodge that shot. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. And then completely knacker it up. It has got a fast turning turret, 45 degrees turret traverse. Didn't really, think, yeah, it didn't really, didn't really show, but it, I, like. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> seems to have a pattern here, and tier four Swedish tank destroyer players just seems to aimlessly drive around. ELC comes and whacks oh. one into us. You can see here a bit better that gun traverse on the turret. Uh, can we get him before he sneaks off? This is pre There's nerf no, as well, so that ELC is no a fully yeah. oh, full on full on ELC. No it's not the uh, nerf wow. one we've seen these days. That's kind of brought the teams equal now. You had that spree. Yeah. Five kills, 14 penetrating shots. Nice little spree in the middle there. And you can see again, um, we're going to do what you were talking about earlier. Drive about. Looking yeah. for that optimal, especially when you've got a nipple yeah. twister elf like we've got at the minute, that optimal angle to come at these tanks from with yeah. the most concealment and most amount of... But you're using this really good positive of its manoeuvrability and speed to reposition. Yeah. I mean, and either get out of there or get in there. Yeah. The M is no different. I'm not saying the M is a poor tank. It's near enough the same tank. It's probably a little bit better, if anything, with its armour. Okay. It's just not as quick, not as quick. basically. I and it's, quick. The other thing it can't do that this can do is its turret traverse is a lot slower. Ooh. I know that sounds a bit anal, but the fact that when you're circling something or someone's circling you, yeah. it's easier to kill an M than it is a D. Ooh. It, it sounds a bit trivial, but no, 30 degrees per second on the M. To 45, Ugh. so it's a third of the time quicker. It's still driving, and though. you can see here now we're going to come out on front bike. Yeah, you need to. I've been driving about a bit. I mean, we'll probably took a long Ooh. way around there, but as you can see here, fire rate's not great. Look, it's not going to rinse through something quick, yeah. But we're going to see that sloped armor here. We're going to see that sloped armor in full effect. Wrangle nicely. Oh, look at that. Nothing didn't take a nothing. Cut. I say wrangle nicely, we're near a side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll finish off that. You made him pay for it. Nice 150 roll, I think we've got there. And seven nice. kills, 19 shots. Very it's nice. not to be underrated or dismissed the VK medium. Any of them. The, yeah. the P. I mean, some people think the P, just because it leads down the Tiger line, is some kind yeah. of slow, medium, but it's just as quick as this. 60 kilometers. Yeah. 60 kilometers an hour as well, the Tiger P. But the Tiger P, different to the M and the D, gets an 88 millimeter. So it's got a little bit more potency Ooh, when it comes yes. to firepower. Everyone likes an 88 and millimeter. And randomly, so. randomly, yeah. less hit points. Oh. Whereas this has got less hit points as well. 770 on this, a whacking 840 on an M. 
Wow. So the M's has not only got more armour, it's got more yeah. points to go with it as well. The flash are heavy. Bane of my life, artillery. <laughs> Bill Burt there. We're, we're nearly dead already. We've made a really a brain dead move there to sit on that hill right at the beginning of the match. To be fair, why is there artillery in there? He can't fire very far. Uh, we can't, we can't fire. fire very far. Okay. The, the little Burt will nice. finish him off. Totally we'll shoot awesome. him when we can't see him, when we can't <laughs> shoot him when he's visible. <laughs> Story of my life. I mean, now he's out of the way, we're pretty comfy on this hill. You can see another little trait of this tank is really wow. small turret. Okay. So, working a ridge line, I know this isn't technically a ridge line, it's an hill. With eight degrees of gun depression, you can leave as much tiny yeah. visible target that they can hit. You yeah. can see it, penetration, under a 50, still not good enough for that bulldog. We switch to an APCR, still not getting through with an APCR. Turret, Aim for his turret. Yeah, we're going to get there eventually. Got one in. We've only got a nipple twister, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, you've got to be careful. We're a bit spotted. Two minutes in. Another tier four Swedish uh, tank destroyer there, a lot of them knocking about today. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, so um, we're going to see if that 300 centimetre view range can pick anybody out. Uh, what equipment have you got on this? Obviously I think I'm running optics. Okay. It's more of a mobile medium. I like to play it that way. You can yeah. use it as a scout, like I say, but we've not seen it really in the tier 8 action at this point. Yeah, what else you got on it? Um, I'm not sure if I'm packing a gun rammer. You're not Get that sure. 4.2 two second reload. We'll know it's next time we fire a shot. We'll know for sure then. The equipment's all player preferential. You know I said it's a jack yeah. of all trades, it can play any kind of style you want. Yeah. That's the same with your equipment. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to use this, this and this. Okay. Because somebody might like to use this more of a scout tank and want to fit binos. Yeah. Some people might want to go fully charging around and use optics. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you can and can't do. You mean what camp boost you. with binos? Yeah. No, it's not a camping boost, man. It depends how you want to play this tank. Yeah. Support sniper. Yeah, in a way, it can start. The accuracy is good on the gun. The velocity is good on the gun. The shell doesn't drop away, so they can hit targets that yeah. aren't spotted anymore, if you yeah, know what I mean. Fire the shot since we wanted to know how long the reload was, man. I'm down to that nipple twister. <laughs> if I play my best matches on the nipple twister <laughs> health, I think to do. If I could just throw me hit points away at the beginning of the match and see what I could do with a little bit I've got left at end. Come on, let's have a look at the reload. Just fire a shot. I'm going to fire one in a minute. Here we go. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Reposition again. Yeah. yeah. What is it? It's going to come in in this uh, ah, 3.5, so yeah, I'm packing a gun round yeah. on this. Must have vents as well. Yeah, probably vents. Any little yeah. thing you can to help it out. Yeah, you yeah. see the damage it does to the gun. It's under the third fire, try and track it now. I think the tracking knot we're on at this point when we're <laughs> <laughs> making this video. Uh, KB1S, one Ooh. shot into its turret. Try and track him again. Only missed that front track. Managed to hit his front all. Another tracking shot. And get one in again. <laughs> um, I notice that it doesn't, when you shoot, it doesn't aim directly in the centre, it does go a it's bit not, out. It's, it's not going to say it's no tanks that accurate, but as, a, National, as a general, yeah, as a general rule, it's not bad for okay. a medium. It's better than a Cromwell, put it that way. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, I mean, I don't know what the little winglets are in it, they're kind of the strangest thing I think on tank. Um, kind of discern it from the M. I don't know what they're for. Is that cable there? So we bounce a normal shot. Try an APC. Oh, we're risking it here a bit. We've already been spotted. You try what are you doing? In. Snugging in. I'm hoping he's going to forget about me. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think he does. <laughs> the big problem is you attract. Oh, he's actually on it. Oh, as well, isn't he's he? going to bank. Oh, oh, he's got his dirt gun on. And he's going to ride it. He's going to ride I'm it. not risking messing around with a dirt gun. He hasn't even got it anywhere on the tank to splash me and kill me now. Just a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is like pure nipple play now. So and a dead driver as well. His medipack already used, so we're going to get really sluggish from now on. I didn't notice your driver was dead. Is it my driver? Is it my gunner? No, it's driver. No, it's definitely, it's definitely driver. driver. We're tracked him again. Another tracking shot. Here you go. Some tracking assisted damage in there. You're doing well. You see now it's going to get really slow and sluggish. <laughs> yeah, just don't drive in the river. It's very deep there. No, oh, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> the best bit about it for me is there's no artillery left. <laughs> Miss a run into. There's plenty of stuff left. You can see, we'll see if that Chris is any good. Nope. Oh, it is turn. And you can see there, that's the same tank as me. Look how small that turret is. Yeah. Look how small of a target it is to it. Definitely. Why are you missing him? I have no idea. There must be something. He must have been behind something. Well, they, I could only see the very top edge of his turret, so it was a gamble anyway, trying yeah. to get that shot in, but I thought one might have gone in at about five with five, but hey, help. I don't think it was five, I'm in mean six. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Come on, so so we've re laid out your uh, equipment, and you've actually carried a fire extinguisher. Is this prone to fires? No, 20% chance of fire with this tank. 
difficult. It's hard That's in over, bad. it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Fire extinguisher lessens that a little bit, so we just use it just to yeah. do it. Yeah, it's not, more, it's not it does lose modules, but no more than any other tank, so I won't I won't pick yeah. any kind of preferentials. Oh, Ooh, okay. Matilda. Yeah, we're getting I don't want to get involved with Matilda. No, not with a nipple. Oh, You're yeah, a one shot to anyone yeah. at this point. Everyone's coming for a piece. Well, they've oh, seen that yeah. nipple, they think I'm having it. I don't know what they... I don't know if they actually can let you down. It can be a problem. Are we saying the gun control you? It is in this game. Probably, on this game. probably my gunner's gone and do it driver's job. <laughs> <laughs> we get one there in. you go, it's we pretty accurate. Can we finish him off? Yes, yes. we got one in. We can't afford, that's why I'm using APCR, I can't afford to miss a shot. No. If I don't pen a shot, I'm dead. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what we're packing there, is it 50 something, 68 points left, if that? There's not a lot. Can't really we're in double figures, let's put it that way. <laughs> You're one shot anyway, aren't you? Yeah. We might even get rammed at this so point. So, Matilda's dead, in fact. Oh. So, what we've got left, there's two mediums left. And we're going to finish this one off. I think it's a Panzer 3 4, is it? You're doing well to say your driver's dead. Ooh, nice. Matilda, we got him. Driver is doing well. He must be wounded, he can't be dead. Do to finish this last one off? It's lucky the engine's not gone as well. He really is sluggish. He's running. He's got nowhere to run. He's lost. One shot out to it, back up. Ooh, shot oh, you. come on. Finish him off. Gone. Nice, very I nice. Start. Not bad. Rescued that game quite nicely. You seem to play better on the nipple. I oh, know, I know, I need to change my place down because I keep ending up on it. <laughs> <laughs> too early. <laughs> too early. <laughs> too early. Maybe you got a thousand assisted damage there. Yeah, you got your spotter and your top gun. And what sort of one you got there? Spartan, I think. For... Oh, for being battered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. battered to win my life. Yeah, it's not bad. Nice games. Come on then, let's round this up. Go on, give us some knowledge. Right, we're going to straight into the positives at Tank. It's capable of scouting. Yeah. With decent camo. Okay. So in a tier 8 match, you don't have to solely flank and get wrist shot by a tier 8 tank. You can kind of sit in bush, camp bush. Camp bush. From a distance. Okay. And with a bit of harassing fire as well from a gun with a fairly decent penetration on it. So yeah. it's pretty good at doing that. Yes. The sniper capabilities we've seen there, the gun can sometimes Troll let you, you down with yeah. that. But it, sometimes. It's got penetration enough to do it. And it's got the signal range enough to do it and the Close view range. The better, I think, so, so you can spot really. your own yeah. targets in it and you're not uh, allowing people okay. to light your own targets up. Sloped armour, mm, plus good. point. Yeah. Only 60 mil, but it's there. Not as good as the 85 on the ebb. Okay. But it's there. Yeah. Got a little turret as well on top, but it's hard to hit. Yeah. With eight degrees of gun depression, because sometimes getting in position makes it really hard just to hit it. Yeah. So the armour's not great yeah. on the turret. You have to work it. Yeah, but yeah. it's only 80 mil on the turret. Yeah. But you can work that, you can use it. Have we got any more positives? It's, well, I mentioned the gun depression, 8 degrees ah, yeah. on it as well, that's another that's positive. That's not bad. That's pretty much it, it's manoeuvrable to an extent. Mm. There is tanks at tier yeah, 6 that are far it. better, but okay. it's not bad. And you can see the results you can get from it, it's not impossible to have a good game in it no, at it all. No, it is very good. It's a very solid tank. So you got 6 That's the other thing, it's, like, it's versatile. Yeah. Can yeah. Player style can suit it to any kind of player, so any player can kind of get. Into yeah. So this hasn't got a high skill um, ceiling. To has get it? the most out of it, you, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. To get the absolute most out, especially in a yeah. tier eight match, you're going to need to know map knowledge, awareness, mm. tank knowledge, where to shoot stuff, stuff like yeah. that. You really are going to know how to get this tank to yeah. work in Another a tier team eight match. That you know, works with you. Yeah. yeah. But as a player friendly tank, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Anyone can pick it up. The uh, negatives at tank. It is a jack of all trades, but what did you say comes along with that? Um, master of none. Oh yeah, I did. I said master of none. <laughs> right, so, so. Yeah, it does everything good, but it does nothing outstanding. Yeah, that that sounds about right when you say it's good at everything. Yeah. Not yeah. brilliant at yeah. It's, yeah. Well, it's solid. It's a yeah. pretty solid tank. Pretty it's acceleration solid. another thing that lets it down. It it's not overly fast at getting up to its top speed. But it's not horrific. Yeah, either. no, it's not bad. I, I just thinking how. Uh, I do you remember doing a kind of review on something like this similar before. Now I'm saying all these things. Kind of does everything all right, but nothing spectacular. What tank was it? I can't remember. I can't remember. I'll have to look through reviews and see what it <laughs> So if I, if I were playing this tank, I'd, I'd try and flank from a distance if I were yeah. in an I tier match. Was it a tank destroyer? It might have been. Might have been. 
you know, I don't try to remember. <laughs> or work a ridge line in it. Yeah. Use that little bit of gun depression you've got. Use your small silhouette of your turret to pick yeah. shots off where you can. And then reposition because the armor's not great. It's yeah, not slow. It's right. You can circle straight, like we've seen in there. Fantastic turret traverse as well, 45 degrees yeah. per second. So it's not bad at that. Either. It's not bad actually. It's but nice little. Don't tank. disregard the M. The M's probably the better tank out of the two. We're, we're not just using the D because not many people are reviewing it. We're not the making D. a video on you. No, we are not very making similar. one. No. The M is the Panther, basically. Ah, okay. The M turret that traverses quick, it's slower, but it's got more armor. Okay. Other than that, the gun's the same, view range it's the same, signal range it's the same. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, it's pretty good. And if you want the P, I just mentioned the P, fits the 88mm gun, so you get a bit more firepower from it. Yeah. Same top speed as the D, 60 kilometers ah, an hour. Okay. Armour's kind of in or there, it's got more on its turret and more on its hull, but not drastically more. Okay. 100 mil on a P's turret, 75 on its hull. Mm, so sounds... the P's an option as well. It does sound good on there. paper. The only problem with P is it's only got 758 points, even less than the yeah, 840 on the N. Wow. So the N Quite is different. probably the best out of the one, but we're reviewing the D because not many people do. Okay. No good reasons. Anyway, let's call that a